Hey guys, Ty the RV guy here and behind me is the all new 2021 Gray Wolf Black Label Edition. This is the 23 MK floor plan. Um, first thing we want to jump into here of course is the overall length and weight. So from pin to bumper on the 23 MK you're looking at a rough length of about 28 feet from pin to bumper and of course your dry weight on this is about 5,500 pounds. So even if you have that really large SUV or a half ton truck you're going to be able to pull this trailer into any campsite that you like. Now one of the things that we love to talk about with these Black Label Edition trailers here with Grey Wolf is the style of construction. So first thing you'll notice the exterior of this coach now is a fiberglass exterior. It's a true gel coat too so it does hold its color a lot longer over the years of use. Another big addition too are these tinted bonded frameless windows. So of course being tinted it's going to help keep that heat out. It also adds a lot of privacy to your trailer which is a big upgrade from the uh, standard Grey Wolves. And then of course these do open from the bottom out too so if you want to use them in the rain you can absolutely do so. As we start looking through the front of the trailer, you'll notice you have this nice big storage compartment here and it is accessible through the bed there. So one of the strategic things that Grey Wolf does at the factory is they put the hot water tank on the opposite side here so you can flip that bed up and easily do your winterizing, no problem at all. Now, while we're talking about this storage compartment too, being it's a black label, you're gonna notice they've added these magnetics, uh, magnetic door catches here. These are great because of course, over the years of use, you're gonna start breaking those plastic ones off and that's not the case with this particular trailer here. On the very front, it may be hard to see because we got some trees in the way, but you'll notice they have that manual, uh, manual tongue jack there. And what you can do is actually flip that handle over and it pops a socket out the top there. So you can simply zip that up and down with a power drill, just like your four corner stable stabilizing jacks. You also got 20 pound propane tanks on the front there, two of them and enough space for dual batteries if you choose to do so. The reason why we talk about dual batteries on this trailer is it does come with a cool option called the juice pack and what that gives you is a solar panel up on the roof and that comes straight from factory so if you pair yourself up with some dual batteries you're going to be set to go out dry camping. Now as we work our way through the trailer let's talk about some cool exterior features. For example you have this beautiful power awning here and of course it's got the nice blue LED lighting underneath it and one of the nice things that we love to talk about too with this awning is Grey Wolf just introduced a one control system into their trailer right hooked up to the control panel so what you can do is you can actually pair your cell phone now to your trailer and this awning can be operated right from the push of a button on your mobile device same thing with your slide out and same thing with all your lighting too on the topic of lighting you'll notice along with the blue light up above you'll also have the black label badge here which is backlit with that blue LED looks really cool same thing with your speakers down here. They got that blue LED lighting behind it. Now these speakers have changed over the years. This is a driven audio system now that Grey Wolf has gone with. And that gives you of course the exterior speakers, interior speakers, but they've even added a subwoofer up in the ceiling of this coach. So now you have that premium audio right out at the campsite. Now, right behind me here too, you have what we like to call the mini camp kitchen. This is super, super cool because it gives you your outside fridge. And then of course, the one thing that you always run out of at the campsite is ice. So they've even added an ice maker in here for you too, along with a secondary outside shower. So of course, now you have an easy way to fill up that ice maker or even just wash down the side of your trailer or whatever you need to do. Now, there also is a barbecue quick connect just underneath here too, so if you do want to complete the full setup of your outside kitchen, you can easily do so. Looking down towards the bottom here, you're also going to notice on the black label package, they've gone to these really nice black forged rims. So again, on a trailer of this category, you're going to see usually that basic steely that's really ugly and they start to rust out over the years. Not the case with something like this. Looking at even the little details that you gain out of a Grey Wolf trailer on these rims, what Grey Wolf does, which is really, really cool, is they've added in these little tire pressure monitoring stems. Now, like you can see, when I take that off, it's showing red. When the tire is up to full pressure, it will go green. And the reason why Grey Wolf did this is because the number one cause of accidents by anybody that owns a trailer in our industry is due to low tire pressure and they have a blowout on the side of the highway. This is a full uh, fail-proof system. You can simply walk around, give your tires a check by just looking at them. Make sure all your doors are nicely tightened up too so you know you're safe going down the highway. As we work our way towards the door here, you'll notice with the black label and even on the standard Cherokees, they have this beautiful black glass door. Really cleans the look up of the trailer too. So you got that nice modern look as you pull into the campsite with your brand new Grey Wolf. Underneath here, you also have the Moor Ride steps. 
These are a must have feature on your trailer nowadays. If you're looking at anything that doesn't have it, it's probably telling you a lot about how that trailer is put together. So right here, what you can see is they'll actually fold right up inside the trailer for you. And they got adjustable legs on either side so you can get that nice even entrance coming inside your trailer. Saves you from having to worry about the pullout steps that are full of gravel and dirt and rust out and eventually go to crap on you. So as we work our way to the back here, you'll notice you have a beautiful flip down travel rack. This is a great feature to have on your trailer because essentially, usually you pay about a six to $800 extra just to have this, but Grey Wolf gives you it right at the factory. Carries 150 pounds worth of weight with that spare tire still on when you have it flipped down. So if you wanna bring that generator with you, extra firewood, cooler, you name it, you got the space to put it. Follow me around the backside here. As you notice when we're walking around too, all the lighting has changed to LEDs. So you're not seeing any of those incandescent bulbs that always inconveniently burn out on you. And then of course, we're walking around the slide out here. With the slides too, they've gone to a Schwintech slide system and they've, they've used those for quite a while, but one of the big benefits that you have with this is it's a four corner gear track system. So it brings that slide in and out evenly on all four points. Plus, if you ever have a failure, you can bring the slide in in and out three times and it'll actually auto correct itself. It's a really nice system to have, much better than maybe the cable slide system you've seen on some other coaches. On my right side here, you have your outside hot and cold shower. So yes, you are correct. This does have two on this trailer. It's really cool. This is a nice feature to have. Of course, right beside it, you have the black tank flush there. And for those who aren't familiar with what that, that does for you, you can hook a garden hose up to this trailer, completely rinses out the inside of that sewer tank. So it keeps the dipsticks in there nice and clean so you get proper readings on your tanks. Plus when you go to flush the toilet, you're not getting that breath of fresh air. Now, of course, you got a detachable power cord here. Doesn't seem like a huge feature to have, but this really makes a world of difference because on a lot of coaches, you'll have the, that big 30 or 25 foot cord that you got to slam inside your trailer and it makes it a big pain in the butt. Plus, it's a big hole there for mice to get into. With something like this, you don't have to worry about it. As we work our way around the front, I want to tell you about a really cool feature they added on the brand new 2021s. Excuse me. And that one is the full enclosure on their tanks. So what that's gonna do is if you're an early season camper or even a late season camper, it helps keep those tanks nice and warm, plus it protects them from, you know, if you're going down a gravel road and that kind of thing and stuff's flying up, you're not gonna damage your tanks. Follow me inside here and we'll talk about some really cool features too. So first thing you're gonna notice coming inside the 23MK, this is a beautiful, uh, beautiful uh, rear living floor plan. And when I say that, you have a U-shaped dinette on the slide out here, kitchen right across, and a couch at the back. So it's very, very well set up. Now, talking about your slide out here, you, like you can see with this U-shaped dinette, this will make into a great sleeping space if you need to. And then just underneath it, what Cherokee does and Grey Wolf does in all of their trailers is they give you these massive 40 inch dinette drawers. So these stretch right to the very back of the dinette and you're not having to lift this cushion up to access it. On the topic of those drawers too, like you may have seen there, they're all plywood um, when it comes into the sides there too. Um, the exteriors on the fronts are actually a solid wood material. So it's that nice fit and finish you're looking for, which is quite honestly not common in a trailer of this category. Now, just behind me here, you're gonna see you have this really cool entertainment unit where your TV is gonna sit up above. And then of course, right below that, you even have a 5100 BTU fireplace. So this is great because it's an electric dry heater that'll heat up to about 400 square feet of your trailer within 15 minutes. You don't even have to fire up the furnace to heat this trailer up if you don't want to. On my left side now, we'll talk a little bit about the kitchen. So one of the big things that you get out of going to a black label version in a Grey Wolf here is the solid surface countertop in here. So like you can see, this is actually a solid granite material. And of course, if you put a hot pan or anything like that on here um, or drag a knife across it, you're not gonna hurt it. Of course, you're gonna have a massive tub stainless sink here and it's a black stainless too, so it gives you that nice modern look. And then of course, you got the sprayer faucet. And being that we're in COVID times, what they even introduced to you is a little hand sanitizer pump here, which is a nice little addition. Of course, when this all blows over, hopefully you can just use that as a soap pump too. Right on the side, you'll notice, uh, my left side here, you'll notice you have your graystone um, oven and stove. So this is a three burner cooktop, which also has a nice tempered glass cover to maximize your counter space. And then as you work your way down, you got the blue LED lighting. And of course, you're going to have this beautiful glass front oven there too. Nice little touch that Grey Wolf introduced this year on their trailers is they have 
a cutting board in here now. So this is cool because you always usually forget one at home and now it's right inside your trailer. It's actually got magnets on the back side of it too. So what you can do, set it down on top of your stove. It's not gonna move around on you. And then of course, when you're done with it, you can just simply apply it right back to the wall. So you're gonna have a microwave up above that. You're also gonna have a range hood here too, which is really nice. And then of course, right beside us, you have the brand new fridge. This is a 12 volt fridge now too, and it is 10 cubic feet. The reason why it's a lot bigger than what you'd standardly see like a six in here is being that they went to 12 volt, they've actually made it a lot deeper. So one of the big benefits you also gain out of this is it cools down like three or four times faster. So we've had this trailer in here for about 20 minutes. It's actually cold in here already. It's such a nice fridge to have. And of course with that juice pack, it's gonna set you up nice if you wanna go dry camping. If you're going out for long periods of time, we'll end up getting you set up with a bigger solar panel and some extra batteries so we can accommodate you for as long as you want to go out camping. Now, as we look towards the back here, I want to show you a couple things because again, those little fit and finish details make a huge difference in a trailer of this category. For example, you have real wood box valences here. You'll even have uh, little curtains on the side too to help clean up the look. But what Grey Wolf has gone to are these really, really cool zebra blinds. So with something like this, like you can see one finger, they're very, very easy to use. And it's actually a dual day and night shade. So like you can see here, if you set them up like so, you have a day, a, a day shade. And then if you wanna close it right off, it actually completely blocks out all that light for you. They're probably one of the best blinds that we've seen in some of these trailers recently. So we love to talk about them. Now I'll turn you guys around and we'll start heading towards the bathroom here. As we come by, this trailer is also gonna be equipped with a battery disconnect for you so you're not having to pull those batteries off all the time and there is a voltage meter on here too for your solar setup now as we come into the bathroom one of the things i like to mention there's actually switches on the walls here for your lights so you're not having to reach around and actually turn some lights on and that kind of thing just a nice conveniently uh, conveniently placed there you got a big big closet here which you can also double up as a pantry if you want to and then beside that you got a big glass door shower so like you can see Nice plastic surround here, so not worried about damaging the wallpaper. Um, you also have a foot flush toilet inside this trailer, and right up above my head, you'll have a max air fan. So it's nice and easy to vent out all of that hot air inside your trailer without even turning on that air conditioner. You can really cool it down in here. Now, with this door closed, you'll notice they conveniently place a, uh, a medicine cabinet in the corner there to maximize storage, and even more storage behind the toilet. It's probably one of the best bathrooms that we've seen for setup on storage if you really like to pack a lot of linens and things like that with you. Now, I'll get you to come into the bedroom here with me now and I'll, we'll finish up with that. So as you come into the bedroom here, first thing you're gonna notice, of course, you have lots of cabinet space all the way around here. You have some real deep wardrobes on either side so you can actually hang a shirt in there or a, or a coat or something like that. And then of course, up above, you have these really nice cabinets. And the reason why we stress about having cabinets over top of your bed is a lot of manufacturers just put a shelf in here and you're going down the highway. Next thing you know, you come into your bedroom, things are all over your bed. So this is a way better way to have your storage. Plus there's even storage underneath this mattress. To top it all off, Grey Wolf gives you two USB chargers on the side of this bed here. And of course, plugins also. And then on the opposite side, you're gonna have again, additional plugins and they even have the pre-wire fitting for your Furion um, or whichever uh, stereo system you can apply to that there. So let's head back into the main area here and we'll finish up. So again, luck, like a lot of the little touches that you get out of this brand is really, really cool. Keep in mind, this is a traditional build travel trailer. So these little details start to add up, like having a, a, a skylight in here, you know, having a properly deck, uh, ducted uh, air conditioner on here, because this does have a 13 and a half thousand BTU air conditioner. But you know, guys, if you have any questions, I'm sure I've maybe missed some stuff in here. Don't be shy to give us a call or come down to the dealership and ask some questions. Make sure you give us a call and ask about our RV show uh, pricing on right now. We got some wicked promotions on for this trailer this is one of our most popular couples coaches you got to come and see it thanks again for watching i'm ty the rv guy and happy camping <music>